Good morning. Welcome to another move sesh. It's Wednesday. Middle of the week. <laughs> the week that seems to be the longest week ever. Don't you find, I don't know why this is, but like the week after New Year's, the week after the holidays feels like a month. <laughs> like, I don't know. My birthday's on the 8th, right? So it goes like, it goes like Christmas, New Year's, and then my birthday. And then it feels like time just stops. <laughs> and that's what I feel like it's just not moving right now. I don't know. And this weather, oh my goodness. So it's like supposed to be three degrees or two degrees or something nuts today after being like frigid yesterday. But don't worry, because it's gonna get really cold again. <laughs> oh goodness, Canada. We love you, Canada. Okay, let's get started. Enough complaining. All right, let's get going. So we're gonna start out with some nice easy twists. I have my sweatshirt on, it'll be off right now because it's bothering me already. Nice gentle twist. How's everybody's legs feeling from yesterday? Mine aren't too bad, but they're definitely they're definitely tired. I started my hill training program last week. I gotta tell you, I was avoiding starting it. I was procrastinating getting going on it because I wasn't, I didn't really know what to do. I didn't really know what to start. I thought, there it is again, that lesson. You don't know what it's gonna look like. You just gotta take that first step. And somehow, once you take the first step, like the next step appears, right? And so, <clears throat> Last week, I got on my treadmill, <coughs> and I thought, I'm just going to do something. I didn't really have any plan getting on the treadmill, but I figured it out as I went, and I came up with a, a plan. And then, over the weekend, I thought, I'm going to, oh, I'm going to try this now. And now, all of a sudden, I have a plan. So, I have a plan for January, anyways, where I'm doing <coughs> two... Hill climbing, I'm sure you don't really care about any of this, but I'm going to share it with you anyways. <laughs> um, two hill training workouts a week. So one is like, so my race, which is in Washington, uh, is very hilly. <laughs> uh, long, long climbs. We don't have climbs like that around here, right? Like we have like little short hills. Uh, we have nothing like what I'm going to be encountering. So. But I have this treadmill that goes up to 40% incline. So I thought, I can use that to train my body to just climb, right? And so that's what I'm doing. I'm working my way up. I don't want to do too much too soon because it's different muscles, right? Especially when you're in a treadmill, like on an incline like this, like your, your feet are in a different position. So anyway, I did my long, I have a, I have a long climb day and then I have an interval climb day. So my long climb day, I'm starting at 40 minutes. So I climb for 40 minutes. Just chug, 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 chug. And then I do a mile or 15 minute warm up jog, 15 minute cool down jog, just to, because when you've climbed for 40 minutes, your legs kind of turn to jello. So anyway, that's, that's my story. That's why I'm definitely feeling my legs today. I don't know if it was from doing strength work yesterday or <coughs> my hill climbing or both together, but how are you feeling? How are your legs? I'm feeling the quads, for sure. And today we're going to focus a little more on upper body, some back, some chest stuff, arms, that kind of thing. And yes, it's much warmer today. So remember to take everything at uh, your pace, at your effort level. I was talking to a client yesterday and she's like, oh, Jocelyn, I just, I wish I could do your workouts. I just can't. They're just too much for me. They're just too hard. And I was a little bit wounded by that because I really want to get across the message to people that these workouts aren't intended to be hard for any one person. They're just intended to get you moving. So I wanted to say to her, but I didn't. <laughs> I didn't want to argue. No, that's not true. You can do. So what we just did, we just did the warm-up first round. You can keep it at that intensity for the whole warm-up. You don't have to start hopping like me, right? Especially if you're a beginner or, you know, 
for her, I know she's, she suffered from um, arthritic pain for many, many years, so she's since been able to alleviate that, and now she's starting to take better care of herself again. Um, anyway, she's just an example, but I, I, I share that with you because remember that everything we do in here can be modified or can be flat or changed. If I'm doing something that you can't do, change it to something you can't do. The biggest goal I have with these move sessions is to get you moving and provide, with, provide for you a community of women who are moving alongside you at their pace, right, where we're all supporting one another, we're all cheering for one another. Um, I know Pauline, last year, when I first started these workouts, was doing them from her wheelchair, right? And I know Dawn had a fractured foot or a mangled foot, I don't know, you had, you had something wrong with your foot. Um, you know, the, the moves can be modified if I'm doing something that bothers your knees, or maybe it, you know, you can't bend that way or whatever, change, do bicep curls, do squats, do marching on the spot. You can always default to a different move, and you can always take jumping out, anything I do where I add jumping in. <coughs> so know that the goal isn't necessarily for you to do specifically what I'm doing, but just to do your best to move your body. I try to offer a, a range of movements so that we get your whole body, especially throughout the week. Um, we focus, the movements that I try to incorporate, focus on mobility, so just moving the joints. Um, and then you can do anything and everything without weights, right? Just with body weight. So that's my spiel for today in terms of taking things easy doing things at your pace, meeting yourself. I heard this the other day. I don't remember where I heard it or read it. Uh, Iron Cowboy. Oh, I've been devouring endurance stuff online <laughs> the, last, the last week. He said that nobody starts out an expert. <laughs> nobody. Um, the trick is to meet yourself where you're at and, and bring your expectations down to, to where you're at, right? So if you can't do this right now, that's not because you suck. <coughs> it's not because I'm better than you. You can maybe do these better than me. <laughs> that doesn't mean you're better than me. It just means you're in a different spot, right? That's all. So the first thing you need to do is bring your expectations down to, and I have to do that to myself all the time. Um, I've, had to do my, I've had to do that myself recently because I I set myself back a little bit when I sprained my ankle. Um, I had made some really amazing progress with regards to my workouts, with my fitness, um, my strength, and I couldn't really train the way it was while I while my ankle was healing, I mean, the good news is I didn't have to do nothing. I still did stuff. But I had to modify a lot of stuff, right? So I'm, I dropped back a bit. And sometimes that gets in my head. Sometimes I think, oh, I should be better. I should be further along. That's not going to help us. It's not going to help you. You've got to just go, here's where I'm at, and take that step. Like I just said, take that step. You know, I. I look at getting on my treadmill. I look at getting on my treadmill, and that's again one of the reasons why I was avoiding it. Was I didn't know what to do, and I was thinking, how am I going to train for these massive climbs when I can't? I, when I can't do 20 minutes. Well, how that works is you just start where you're at. So I just got on the treadmill. Yeah, I'm only doing 40 minutes right now. I could say 40 minutes is a long time to climb, because it is, from what I'm used to. But I could also say, oh, what I'm going to be climbing is a lot more. But the goal isn't to, don't compare, right? Don't compare. 
Compare to what? Hey, that's the shirt I'm wearing today. Compare yourself to where you came from instead, or compare yourself to something that's going to move you positively, not negatively. So I love <coughs> using comparison for myself, not against myself, right? What that means is we tend to, like, it's not about comparing ourselves to make someone else look worse, right? So it's not about comparing ourselves to somebody who's in worse condition to make ourselves feel better, that's what I'm trying to say. It's about, it's about changing the narrative in our minds based on what we're comparing to. So I could say, it was really cold here yesterday, but if I looked at Saskatchewan weather like a week ago, no, it, was, it wasn't that cold, <laughs> right? So compared to what? Um, the event I'm doing, if I compare it to what I've done in the past, oh, it's terrifying, you guys. If I compare it to Iron Cowboys 100 days, I'm only right there for four, it's not that bad. So I think where we get in trouble is where we're, compares, we're comparing things. It's telling me, oh, um, I'm not gonna bring you on live, so no worries. Hey, hey, good morning, everybody. <coughs> good morning, ladies. All right, so we're gonna do, we're gonna start with if you have weights and you want to use weights, you're going to want two of them, two of the same, to start. <coughs> I, I need to go suck, you guys. <coughs> Just know it. I'm allergic to the cold. That's the problem. <coughs> okay, one sec. I'm going to grab my weights. Uh, I'm gonna grab some heavier ones today and try these. They are cold, I forgot my mittens. And I've got these ones in case, can't do these. Okay, so what we're gonna start with is we're gonna start with rows and a deadlift, okay? So I want you to remember chest is out, pull, pulling that core in, Ch chest is out. So watch what happens to my back when I stick my chest out. So my shoulder blades, so what you want to do is you want to retract your shoulder blades. The best way I can nudge you to do that is by sticking your chest out. If I tell you to retract your shoulder blades, I don't know, I don't know. Just stick your chest out, nice tall spine. Okay, ready? I'm going to walk you through this one. Okay, you're going to pull up, and then you're going to stand. Okay, your weights are between your feet. So you're dragging your weights kind of up your, your legs, pulling, up, pulling, up. Make sure that chest stays out, even when you're at the bottom of the movement. It's going to target your lower back and your glutes, which you may be feeling from yesterday, or that might be my treadmill workout. Okay, so you want a nice arched lower back. One more. Okay, we're gonna go to a press and a tricep extension, okay? So we're gonna go press, extend. Press, make sure those elbows come together Press, extend. Elbows are squeezed, squeezing your head. Okay, so straight up. You want your back, again, is slightly arched. When you arch your back, what happens is <coughs> you lock your spine, which is what we want. Almost there, four seconds. Okay. You're gonna need dumbbells for this one. Or ideally, you're probably using dumbbells. I don't know how many of you have kettlebells. Okay, so you're gonna bicep curl, press. Goodness gracious, these are cold. <laughs> okay, bicep curl, 
press. So we're doing, these are called compound movements, which means that we're combining two different movements, like a sequence of movements. So if you need to simplify this, you can simplify to just a bicep curl. When you do your press, you want to press up and over top of your head, not in front, not behind. Up, up, okay. And we're gonna finish with plank. Because we're doing, because we're doing, actually, no, you know what, I'm changing it. We're gonna do mountain climbers. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four push-ups. Four, three, two, one. Eight mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four push-ups. You can do push-ups from your knees. Two, three, four. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Push-ups from knees if needed. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Safe by the bell. Okay, now we get a rest. Now we get a rest. All right, working up our body, making sure that you're pulling your core in um, the whole time. So like somebody's gonna punch you, you wanna pull your core in like, like you're, you're like, if you're, someone's gonna punch you, you kinda clench, right? That's what I want you to do. We're taking a break. Those compound movements, especially ones where we're over the head, <coughs> they get that heart rate going up. At least mine is. <laughs> And I'm sweating today. Betty, Betty said yesterday was a sweat fest. I said, not for me, because it was dang cold in here. Woo! I had something I wanted to share with you guys today. I can't remember what it was. It'll come to me. <laughs> It'll come to me. But, all right, let's, let's go. All right. Okay, so back is arch, lift, driving up. Okay, you can bring your feet together, but you want your weights in between, you'll see they're in between the feet, and you're gonna, I want you to focus on that chest being out <coughs> the whole time. Lift. Lift, really pull those weight with your back, your upper back. Lift, and then driving up. These are getting me today. Yvonne asked me, how am I feeling? I'm feeling good. But the heart rate is still up. It's because I'm allergic to the cold. I need to go south. <laughs> I'm in the 40s now. I think we're on day 40, I think 49 days, 48 days until I head south. Can't come soon enough. I, although, what I'm trying to do now, I had a little talk with myself yesterday to, to enjoy what you have in front of you, which Sometimes I, I don't know if anyone else does this, but I live too far in the past, in the, in the future. Um, it's a fine line, right? But I think, <coughs> excuse me, winter is beautiful. Oh, thank God. <coughs> winter is beautiful. Like, when it's sunny and it's really cold, like, it's, it's beautiful. Enjoy that when it's four or three or two or whatever it is today. Enjoy that, right? When it's snowing like it was last night, it's 
so very pretty. Enjoy that. But seriously, January, my mom always says, January's the slowest month of the whole year. And I always say, no, it's not. It's really not, because it's the beginning of the year, and you're settling in to your, you know, your new goals, your new routines. You got big hopes, big aspirations. January's a great month. But she's right. <laughs> it's not. It's so slow. Uh, February. February goes by in like a tough blink. Do you guys agree or do you, or, or do you think we're right wrong? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four push ups. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, four push ups. Four, three, Two, one. Oh my God, these are hard. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Push-ups. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, five, six, eight. Why don't we just do plank, you guys? One. One more round of those. One more round. We can do it. When it's really hard, it's probably exactly what we need. Right? That's what they say. If something's really hard for you or you hate it, it's probably exactly what you need to do. to learn to be in the moment more. I need to practice that for my race. <laughs> I'm reading a book right now called The Bigfoot 200. It's about, it basically follows, um, I don't know how many, maybe about seven people and their <coughs> journey through the race. It's really cool because it goes eight station by eight station. So it's like this checkpoint to this checkpoint and it tells each each of them have like a write up on how, how they felt and what they thought during that section. They're all traveling at different paces, so there are, you know, some people are hitting rain in one section, and <coughs> it's quite, it's quite cool. But what I keep thinking is, my goal, and, and one of the reasons I signed up for this nonsense was to practice and, and learn uh, mental strength. <coughs> I think mental strength is something, man, it can change your whole life, right? Like how you perceive things, how you view things, how you manage adversity, right? The, the reality is we're all going to have adversity in our lives, whether we choose it or whether it's given to us. Um, you know, we all got the adversity of COVID and all of its challenges that we've endured over the last few years. And you see some people thriving and pivoting and making the best of it and you see other people mourning right and um just can't let go and so that's the, the people who are managing it well are the people that have mental strength right they have a different way of seeing things where they can look at the exact same given situation as another person and see opportunity they can see positive, they can, even if it's a terrible situation, they can find benefit in it, <coughs> right? Oh my God, they can find enjoyment in anything. I want to be one of those people. Oh my God, right now I want to put this weight down, eight seconds, okay. press, oh my God. Exercising, moving your body is kind of a form of adversity, right? Because how often does it not feel tremendously good, right? How often does working out um, feel uncomfortable? 
especially when we first start. So people who love to work out, it's not because, it's because they've trained their mind to see the positive and the benefits in adversity instead of the pain, the suffering, the discomfort, right? <coughs> I listened to a really awesome podcast with the Iron Cowboy, James Lawrence, but also his wife. I'm reading his book right now, too. Like three books going at the, at the moment. We keep flipping between them. Um, his wife, who ran things behind the scenes, arguably suffered more than the Iron Cowboy, who did the actual event, or did the actual physical. So he's the guy who did 100 iron distance triathlons in 100 days. Six, seven, eight, four push-ups, four, three, two, one, one, three, four, six, seven, eight, boy, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, on your head or your neck, right? You want to be kind of lifting up from the butt 
and resting kind of on your shoulder blades. Okay, next up we're going to be doing um, skull crushers. Okay, so we're back and we're bringing it forward. Okay, right? <clears throat> Dropping it behind your head, bring it up. So this is going to be triceps. You want your shoulder or your shoulders, your elbows. I can't tell my body parts right now. Elbows are squeezed together. around us right now. And that was what I wanted to actually share with you guys. 
now that I remembered that is, <coughs> um, Dead bugs. Okay? 
One, two, three, four, pull that belly, belly in, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. So make sure that lower back is pressed into the ground. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're going to go into bicycles. Twenty bicycles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fully straighten the legs. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, rolling up into Russian twists. I'm going to add a weight today to my Russian twists, you guys. You can if you want to. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to do ten more. Make sure that chest is up. Chest is up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Okay, we're going over to plank marches. Love these and hate these. Twenty. Remember, if you're not feeling these, you're probably not doing them right. You want to be pulling in that lower core and squeezing the butt, locking the knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then finish with bird dog. So bird dog is the opposite of dead bug. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Tricep push-ups. Got to do these ones for my knees. <laughs> so elbows are in. Ten.